Here's a question for you. How would you evaluate this limit? What is the limit as n goes to infinity of a 1 plus 1 over n raised to the n power? Well, in this video, we're going to talk about how to evaluate this limit. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the entire expression equal to y. So our goal is to solve for y. If we can do that, we could find the value of this expression. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the natural log of both sides. So we're going to have ln y is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity and then the natural log of 1 plus 1 over n raised to the n. Now a property of logs, let's say we have log x raised to the a we can take the exponent and move it to the front. So ln x raised to the a power is a times ln x. So we're going to take this variable, move it to the front. So we're going to have the natural log of y is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity, n times the natural log of 1 plus 1 over n. Now we still have some more work to do here. Right now we have the product of two expressions, n times ln 1 plus 1 over n. We need to convert this expression from being a product of two expressions to a quotient of two expressions. And here's how we can do that. For instance, a times b is equal to b divided by 1 over a. So here we have a product of two expressions. Now we have a quotient of two expressions. You can illustrate this with real numbers. 4 times 5, which is 20, is equivalent to 5 divided by 1 fourth. They both equal 20. So based on that, we're going to convert this expression from n times the natural log of 1 plus 1 over n to ln 1 plus 1 over n divided by 1 over n. The mathematically equivalent. So now in this format, we could use something called L'Hopital's rule, which is useful for evaluating limits that approach infinity. So we're going to take the derivative of the top and of the bottom. Let's start with the numerator. The derivative of the natural log of u is equal to u prime over u. So since the u variable is going to be the stuff inside of the natural log function, that's going to be 1 plus 1 over n, u prime is going to be the derivative of that expression. The derivative of 1 is 0. Now, the derivative of 1 over n, first we need to rewrite that as n to the minus 1. And then we need to use the power rule. So it's going to be negative 1 n to the minus 2, and then we can rewrite that as negative 1 over n squared. So using the formula u prime over u, we're going to have ln y is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity, and the derivative of that expression is going to be u prime, which is negative 1 over n squared, divided by u which is what we see here, that's 1 plus 1 over n. And all of that is divided by the derivative of 1 over n, which is this again, negative 1 over n squared. Whoa, what just happened? Now let's get rid of that. Now the next thing that we need to do is cancel the two negative signs. A negative divided by a negative sign is a positive sign. And then we can multiply the numerator by n squared and the denominator by n squared. So 1 over n squared times n squared, this is just 1. And this becomes 1. So in the end, we're going to get the natural log of y 
is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity. This is 1 divided by 1 plus 1 over n. All divided by 1, which we don't really need to write that. So this is the expression that we now have. Now, as n goes to infinity, what happens to 1 over n? Let's say n is 10. 1 divided by 10 is 0.1. If n increases to 100, 1 divided by 100 is 0 0.01. As n increases to 1,000, 1 divided by 1,000 is 0 0.001. As n gets larger and larger, 1 over n gets smaller and smaller. As you can see, it's getting close to 0. So as n goes to infinity, 1 over n approaches 0. So applying this limit expression, we can replace 1 over n with 0. So we're going to have ln y is equal to 1 over 1 plus 0, which is basically 1. So the natural log of y is equal to 1. Now, the base of a natural log function is equal to e. That's important because that's going to help us get the answer that we need. Here's a property of logs that you need to be familiar with. Log base a of b, let's say that's equal to c. To convert this from a logarithmic expression into an exponential expression, here's what you can do. a raised to the c is equal to b. Now, applying that same process to the expression that we have in the upper right corner, we could say that e raised to the first power is equal to 1. So therefore, y is equal to e. Now, going back to the original problem where we had this, we said that y was equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over n raised to the n. Because that's equal to y and y is equal to e, this limit expression is equal to e. So this right here is the answer to the problem. So that's how you can get the number e. e is equal to 2.718281828. And then that continues on. We can plug in numbers to get this result. For instance, let's make n equal to a large number, let's say 1,000. So if you type this in your calculator, 1 plus 1 over 1,000 raised to 1,000, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get 2.7. One six nine two three nine three two, which is close to this answer, but not quite. Now let's increase n from a thousand to a million. A million is basically one times ten to the six. It's easier to type it that way. So if you plug in this number. You're going to get 2.718280469. So this is really getting close to E. Now let's try one more. Let's try a billion. A billion is 1 times 10 to the 9. So this is a, a very large number. And this will give you, at least according to my calculator, 2.718281827. So the only thing that's different here is the last 8 and the last 7. But it's very, very close. So you can clearly see that as n gets larger and larger, as n increases, in, let me say that again, as n increases in value, this entire expression approaches e. And so that's one way in which we can get the number e using limits and natural logs. So that's basically it for this video. That's all I got. 
And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks again for watching.